Hi, I'm Chrissy with Looker DevRel. Today we're diving deep into the Looker product family, which includes Looker and Looker Studio. Each offers unique capabilities for data users, so let's explore their individual strengths, shared concepts, key differentiators, and how they're converging with Studio and Looker. While both Looker and Looker Studio are business intelligence tools, they serve different purposes. Understanding these distinctions is crucial for appreciating the benefits of their integration with Studio and Looker. Let's start with Looker Studio. Looker Studio is a powerful web tool that lets anyone build visual data stories. If you've got data access or even a simple CSV, you can create compelling reports and share them widely. Looker Studio allows you to analyze your data through building charts to examine differences in categorical data fields called dimensions. It also lets you visualize key aspects of your data with metrics. Metrics are data aggregations like count, sum, and average. To build charts and visualizations in Looker Studio, connect your data using a Looker Studio connector. The connector acts as a bridge between Looker Studio and your data. Looker Studio can connect to Google Cloud products like BigQuery and Google Sheets, and even services like Google Ads or YouTube Analytics. Developers can also build their own community connectors using Apps Script and use it only within their organization, or they can make it publicly available. There are over a thousand community connectors and more are being added all the time. Once you've connected your data, you have a data source in Looker Studio. This data source lets you model your data without changing the original data set. To model the data, you can indicate the data types of your fields, and you can create new fields to bin and group your data or create calculated fields. Calculated fields use functions like concat, date diff, or case statements to create new metrics or dimensions on the fly. For example, you could use concat first name space last name to combine first and last names in a new text field. Once your data source is set up, Looker Studio's drag and drop interface makes it easy to build visualizations and charts to incorporate these new fields. Now let's shift focus to Looker. One of the biggest challenges businesses face is data governance. Governance means ensuring that data is secure, private, accurate, available, and usable. To demonstrate why governance is important, let's review customer acquisition cost as an example, which is the cost estimated for a business to gain one new customer. The sales team might define a customer acquisition cost by including sales team time, travel, entertainment, lead generation costs, commissions, and bonuses. But the marketing team, on the other hand, might focus more on event costs, advertising campaign costs, or influencer marketing. If these metrics don't have a centralized definition, you can end up with conflicting reports and a lot of confusion. Looker targets these issues with its semantic layer. In Looker, insights and visualizations begin with a direct database connection but it uses LookML to model the data before it's used in dashboards. Looker's power comes from its semantic model that describes your data according to your business model to unify definitions across your organization. A LookML project typically contains model files, defining the overall data model, and view files, representing your database tables. Within the LookML, you define dimensions, attributes like customer name or order date, but there are a lot more tools to build on your model. You can define measures, parameters, drill downs, and so much more. Looker also has looks and explores. A look is a saved visualization that explains a specific piece of your data and can be reused. While a dashboard is a collection of visualizations that tells a story. And an explore is the interface used to save and run queries. Looker interacts with the underlying database to execute queries based on the LookML model. You can also interact with Looker programmatically via its RESTful API, or by embedding visualizations, automating tasks, or building custom applications. Looker Studio excels at flexible reporting with diverse data connections, while Looker provides the robust governance and consistent business definitions essential for scaling data initiatives. Now, how are these two merging? Well, Studio on Looker integrates the power of Looker Studio directly within the Looker interface, 
you can connect to modeled and ad hoc data sources in Looker now. Remember when we talked about those Looker Studio connectors? Well, with Studio and Looker, you can connect to your Looker Explorers via a Looker connector. This means that you can build reports using the same measures and dimensions defined in the LookML model, ensuring everyone is on the same page. This integration allows you to combine governed data with ad hoc data, like with a sheet or an Excel file. With Studio and Looker, a marketing team can use LookML to find metrics like customer acquisition cost in their Looker reports, guaranteeing alignment with company financials. And then they're also able to combine recent ad campaign data from Google Ads that hasn't yet been modeled in their database. With the unified Looker experience, the best of both tools come together to empower Looker users, combining the powerful data governance from Looker and the ad hoc analysis and visualization capabilities of Looker Studio. I hope this clarifies a few things about what each tool is powerful for and what shared terms you can look out for. Bookmark the link below so later you can clarify shared terms and concepts. If you're a Looker user with Looker Studio access, either via Studio and Looker or a Looker Studio Pro, connect your LookML model data to a report and experiment with the ways you can combine insights with ad hoc data that you have access to. Thanks for tuning in. I can't wait to chat again.